For the third time in five years, the University of Calgary Dinos are battling for the Vanier Cup. The Dinos winning in Calgary last week, earning the right to go to the Vanier Cup. The U of C still looking for its first title, though, since 1995. This weekend's game is a rematch of the 2010 Vanier Cup. The Dinos, of course, taking on the Laval Rouge et Or in Quebec City. Sportsnet's Tim McAuliffe will be calling the big game tomorrow. Tim, joining us live from Quebec City with those fancy logos over your shoulder that you were talking hey, to me about. I told you the nice logos here. <laughs> I like it. All right, I got to ask you right off the get go, Tim. Are you surprised that the Dinos beat the Mustangs to get into the Vanier Cup? You know what? It was a battle of undefeateds, and uh, the, the Western Mustangs were the number one team in the nation. But uh, I, I'm not sure I was surprised Calgary won. What I was surprised with was how dominant they were against the number one team in the nation. Uh, they got a couple breaks, but they dominated start to finish, and uh, I think that Western's still recovering. I saw a couple guys at the, uh, the awards dinner last night here in Quebec City. And Western was still kind of picking their job off the ground. They didn't expect that, but Calgary got full marks for that win under Blake Nell. Uh, do you th the Dinos, of course, uh, practice in the weather like we saw last week at the UFC. <laughs> do you think the weather may help them uh, tomorrow when comes kickoff? You know, it's funny, it's not quite minus 17 as it is in Calgary this morning, but uh, it's pretty chilly here in Quebec City now. We're expecting a little bit of snow today, um, and then on, on Saturday, we're not sure if it'll remain, but I think the fact that Calgary's kind of faced all of the, uh, all of the elements uh, per se, I think they got a bit of an advantage, but I'm not sure if you've seen the football culture here in Quebec City, and, you know, I've done CFL play-by-play -play in my past. I've gone to every, um, you know, CFL city in this country. Country. I've been to most uh, college cities in this country and the football atmosphere here in Quebec City is probably second to none and if it is maybe just behind uh, those green folks in Saskatchewan. <laughs> the, the, the McBonkers crowd <laughs> at Taylor yeah, Field. Yeah. yeah, let's talk about some of the Dinos players. Uh, Mercer Timmis has had a, a fantastic year. Um, it, it, you, you must be looking at him as being a key player for UFC. Yeah, if you're going to look at this matchup, you probably look straight to Mercer Timmis. What you have is the nation's leading rusher and a very talented back facing the Laval Rouge Eor, whose defense, um, while susceptible a little bit to the pass, is probably the best against the run. Statistically, they are the best against the run in the nation, and I think that that's going to be a key matchup in, in what determines who will come out champion. And, of course, that crowd, too, will play a huge factor because we're expecting uh, standing room only at Stad Tellus here. So Mercer will not only be facing uh, one of the best defenses in the nation, they'll also be facing a crowd unlike they've ever seen in Canada West especially. Well, let's hope Andrew Buckley can hear when he's making the calls of the line. He took home the Russ Jackson yeah. Award last night. You talked that the Laval may be susceptible to the pass. What do you think Buckley's chances are? Well, I, I, first off, what a great kid. I mean, a 3.93 GPA. You know, when I got involved in this, I, I love sports. I obviously work for Sportsnet, and, and I love uh, college football because I think it affords an opportunity to, you know, our kids to play our game and, and compete for national championships. But kids like, like Andrew Buckley go a long way to why I'm so passionate about it. The 3.93, you know, GPA in kinesiology, uh, probably going to med school. Not sure if he can continue playing football after this year because the med school will be so tough on, on his academic side of things. Um, he's obviously an intelligent kid. And when it comes to a game like this, I really think that that helps, you know, a quarterback especially, because he's not only going to be facing that crowd, but, but a really good defense. So I think uh, having the, the acumen and the football IQ that Buckley has will definitely help him out. All right, good stuff. Thank you, Tim. Sportsnet's Tim McAuliffe. He's calling the big game tomorrow. Uh, Pre-game coverage of the Vanier Cup starts at 10.30 in the morning. Of course, the kickoff set for just after 11 o'clock. All the action on Sportsnet West and Sportsnet 360. Thank you, Tim. Uh, have fun, my friend. Always a pleasure, Calgary. <laughs> good chatting with you. Go Dinos, go.